Hello Internet, this is Koma. Welcome back to Exploring the ASCII Dungeon, where we look at very different uh, non-graphical implementations of various roguelike games. This is a 7-day roguelike from this year called Attack the Geth, and it does, as you can see already, some very interesting differences from what we've done so far. First off, we have um, a UI here, which is... Uh, very extensive and detailed like crawls, but instead of using the classic equal sign for bars, you introduce it to these small happy faces. I'm actually reminded, interestingly, of the happy faces used in the original Rogue to represent the player character, or alternately the um, the dwarves in Dark Fortress. Uh, and we already are using lots of color red, and green, and blue, and purple, and lavender, and yellow, and white, and gray backgrounds, and blue backgrounds, and red. A lot going on here. The other thing we notice is the font. This font does not look anything like the fonts we've been doing so far. It is fixed width, but it is square instead of rectangular, which we've been using for everything else. Uh, just to give you a nice contrast, um, my exploring the ASCII dungeon uh, backgrounds and, and general brand identity, I guess, has all been in Consolas, just like we've been, we used for Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. So you can compare how, say, the eyes look here versus the eyes here, um, and so on. It, it's a very different look, and I know nothing about the Mass Effect uh, series. I have no idea if this is considered appropriate or not, if this is traditional or not, uh, but it's definitely very different and I want to note that. Anyway, um, it, one of the ways that we were talking about before was various ways to show which what is currently highlighted, and we're actually using borders here. This is the first time I've seen that too. We have this very busy looking I think blue and red board, um, dashed border for the current options. Anyway, let's uh, look at the controls. Okay. Codex, which is currently empty. Um, this screen, I personally think, is a mess. Um, this font is very distinct, but I don't find it very readable for large amounts of, of text. I really would have preferred this font for it, but um, this game was made in seven days, so I guess beggars can't be choosers. I also don't like the usage of this very similar um, saturation backgrounds here of very obvious brown and very obvious yellow. If this was a darker brown or even the straight black, I would find this a lot readable. Um, as well as the contrast of green and white here. Just seems a bit of a mess to me. Uh, anyway, let's, uh, let's start a new game. I'll go with the, uh, with the soldier archetype. Startup sequence complete. Ready for input. So already we notice things are quite different here. Instead of our classic, um, hash mark walls, we have these large U's, and we also have these small U's, which uh, note uh, lower barriers as opposed to these um, larger ones over here. Uh, we can see there's actually three types of uh, walls. These low walls, which we cannot pass through but can see through, these barriers, which we can actually jump over, and these um, I guess that's supposed to be the copyright symbol, actually, a C inside of a, a circle for walls that we can neither see through nor pass through. Uh, the at sign itself, uh, we still have dots representing the ground, and they're all the same colors, so none of Rogue's um, palettes to represent uh, members of a type. We are again using that red and blue, or maybe green, or maybe gray, I can't tell. Um, dashed border to represent what we're currently looking at, and we have a bright, ye uh, nice pale yellow at sign, but that looks very, very different from our last at signs because it's roughly square, but also looks rather handwritten. As I said, it's a very fascinating 
and very different idea than usual. Um, this terrain is all open space. We can't ever get to it, I believe. But we can see it because we can see through these walls. Which, again, an interesting conceit of multiple types of walls and multiple types of space. Um, crawl, if I recall correctly, only represents uh, translucent walls. Ooh, there is something over there um, that has scanned for us actively. Um, represents translucent walls as the same color as regular walls, but with a different color. Which... This is a shooting based science fiction-y robot. You are playing the operator of the robot at sign that you see on the screen instead of the at sign representing you, which is, I think is an interesting conceit. But, uh, and of course I found it graphically extremely interesting. One of the, this was the first year I really paid a lot of attention to the seven day roguelike. Uh, challenge, and seeing something like this definitely meant I was not disappointed. Um, I don't completely understand its gameplay, I don't completely understand, you know, every decision that Eben Howard made in making the game, but I'm still pretty fascinated by it. And I think that's a really good thing. Come on. Please die. Please die. Uh, wasted shots. I don't care. And the cool thing about these barriers, which I'm about to do, is that you can jump over them. Which I think is just super exciting and different and weird and interesting. I've never seen used of partial cover so uh, extensive and so important to the gameplay before. Can I choose a new robot and still do the next wave? Or does this count as the same wave as before? I guess only one way to find out. No, this is definitely a different wave than last time. Oh, I guess I can't. Um, from what I understand, all of the enemies are represented by G's because they're the Geth. Um, different colors represent uh, different types. Uh, in the classical um, ASCII paradigm, and these darker ones mean I can sense them with one sense but not another, and possibly that I can't target them to attack either? I'm not completely sure. Um, attack the Geth as a whole uh, plays a lot with the concept of multiple senses and using that to determine um, to hit and to damage, uh, ideas, but I have, I, as I said, I haven't looked into it deeply and I don't know much of anything about the Mass Effect universe other than the fact that it exists and everyone claims it's great science fiction, so I have very little of anything to say about that, but I do find this game really aesthetically pleasing and really aesthetically different from Pretty much every other ASCII roguelike that I've seen in recent years. Um, I'm willing to say that. I'm willing to say it's extremely different from even from every game that attempts to redo the the ASCII paradigm, and I find that very exciting. Of course, 
I'm not very good at, at shooting base roguelikes. It's it's just never been my strength. Um, I played a decent amount of, say, uh, Doom RL, but I've never gone in very far in it. And yeah, in general, it's uh, a fascinating but definitely not my style kind of game. But um, I've never seen a roguelike like it, so in terms of its of its ASCII. So I kind of had to uh, 